Look, Liam, I am on my way to the restaurant right now. But I gotta tell you, I have some errands in this place. Yes, yes, I'm in the car. <laughs> well, this is what you asked me for. I mean, come on. This is not a joke. What we're doing is not a joke. Okay? <laughs> yeah, well... <sighs> what do you mean? Yeah, so what? I do have some errands. Look, it's not gonna take a while. It's not, I promise. <laughs> yes, uh, this is why I left so early. Look, Liam, the project is tomorrow. It's already been calculated. We've planned this a long time ago and there's no way I could mess this up. You know me. I don't mess up, okay? But I gotta go somewhere first before I do that. No, bro, there's no reason for you to pick me up. I got this, okay? I'm on my way to the restaurant right now. I am aware that I am supposed to go to a hotel. Because! Jesus, stop asking questions. <laughs> no, it's not a boy. And look, even if it was, it's not of your goddamn business. This is my life. I do things in my own way. I promise you, this is not gonna take up for tomorrow's project. It's not. Liam, listen to me. I have an important job. I know I can't mess it up. But, to make you shut up and make you stop asking questions, I may or may not have a date tonight. Okay, 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 calm down. Let me explain. Do you remember the last time that I went to this place? Mm hmm, my fourth job. Well, on the plane, I got seated with a very fine young man. Okay, shut up first. Okay? This man is everything I wanted. Actually, he's everything I needed. He's the most interesting man I ever talked to. Despite him being a complete stranger in the plane, the first time we talk, I never felt something like that. Ever in my life. He was wearing this casual suit, got his hair fixed, very formal to talk to. At first glance, I thought the conversation we we're going to have was full of business talk. You know, statistics and shit. But no. He told me a lot of crazy stories. We laughed and talked a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, Liam. This is the first time I've done this, okay? Yes, this is the main reason why I'm going to a restaurant. We also have a business trip here. And I kind of contacted him before getting on the plane. Fuck, yes, I'm going on a date. What? What's wrong with that? Listen, the last conversation that I had with this dude was six months ago. Or in this time. But after that interaction we had, I can't stop thinking about him. I never got a chance to go here again. We both got so busy with work, there was no time. So I took this opportunity. I know, okay, I promise this is not going to take a while. We're just going to talk, know each other a little bit more, and who knows? I might get in with this dude. Of course, I'm not going to let this ruin my job. I have my priorities. Yes, I know, okay? I promise you, I won't let this get in the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, Liam, it was nice talking to you. I'm seeing the restaurant is just a few blocks away from me. So, I'll update you for your nosy ass, okay? Alright, alright. I'll call you, I'll call you. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Thank <sighs> you.
Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oscar, a table for Mia? He's already here. Okay, lead the way. Hi! <laughs> it's so nice to see you again. Yeah, well, been busy with work. <laughs> How long have you been waiting? Just got here? Are you sure? I hope I didn't make you wait that long. No? <laughs> okay, okay. One sec. Uh, Oscar, can you get us the special menu, please? Yeah, just tell Henry that I'm here. Thank you. So, how are you? It's been a while, huh? Yeah? Oh, work has been a bitch lately, huh? Why is that? Oh, I see. Pack with paperwork and meetings. <laughs> Come on, it's alright. It's what pays the bills. <laughs> hmm? I know the waiter. Well, I did tell you that I'm an investment broker. And this restaurant was actually the first business that I invested in. Hmm, yeah. The chef here is fantastic, Henry. Yeah, I've known him for years. He used to love marketing, but um, the food became his passion. He has this special menu that I ask for for only the people he knows. And trust me, the food in that menu is absolutely spectacular. Chef's kiss. <laughs> oh, here it is. Shall we order? Okay, uh, let's see. Actually, I never tried this, so let's give it a shot. Uh, Oscar, I would like to try the saffron risotto like cologne. Did I say that right? Okay, whatever that is, I want to I wanna try that. And for dessert, I would like chocolate milfoy, le pre aux jenny, aux jenny? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, red wine would be fantastic for the both of us. Mm -hmm. And for him... <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. So, <laughs> he was doing a proposal, drunk as fuck, and puke in front of all the board directors? <laughs> oh, fuck that. If I was the boss, I would have fired him right away. What? You guys let him stay. For what reason? <laughs> oh, he contributed a lot for the company. <laughs> but still, that is very unethical, especially in the workplace. Oh, a lot of the employees are fucked up? Really? Are you one of them? No. Okay. okay, I'm just asking. No, no, seriously, you guys have a patience of a saint. If that was me, I would have kicked him off right away. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing the horrors of your workplace with me. I'll be sure to be more considerate sometimes when that happens to me. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh. Well, there's the flicking of the lights and waiters cleaning up. <laughs> well, it means we got to get the hell out of here. It's closing time. 
Yeah, well, the food was nice, and thank you for coming out with me. It was really nice to finally talk with you outside the airplane. <laughs> Come on, let me help you with your coat. Alright, perfect. Let's go. Oscar, here's a tip. Oh, don't worry, I got it. Just tell Henry to stop putting too much salt. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Please do not tell him that. He is going to kill me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll contact you once I'm here in the city again. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Oh, no, it was my absolute pleasure. Thank you for having dinner with me. It's fine. <laughs> Look, I know I pushed you in that restaurant. It was a very nice fine dining. <laughs> I do invest a lot, but that restaurant was one of the best investments I did. First hand, I knew that was going to be a success. <laughs> what else do I invest in? Hmm. You. <laughs> yes, I do want to invest in you as much as I can. <laughs> Seriously, this night has been fantastic and if I'm honest, I don't want this night to end. No, not at all. In fact, my hotel is just across the street. I can have a bottle of Dom Perignon resting on some ice in less than 10 minutes. You can tell me more of your adventures in the workplace. And, uh, yeah, I'm not ready to say goodbye. <laughs> What do you say? Great. Let's go. Let me take your arm. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason for me to hold your arm, but I need an excuse to be close to you. Finally, at the hotel. Let me tell you this. This is one of my favorite hotels in the whole city. <laughs> oh, good evening, Amelia. Nice seeing you again. Yeah, <laughs> everything is perfect as usual. Thank you. Have a great evening. Hmm? Yeah, the property is very nice. Excellent staff and great interior design. Actually, look up at the ceiling before we head up. You see that up there? It's bewildering, right? Isn't the chandelier beautiful? <laughs> it is made of seven tons of bronze and crystal and it took over four years to make. The owner of the building, Devin Gunner, loved the book Phantom of the Opera. So, in 1948, he took him and his family and visited the Phantom of the Opera house. And when he walked in and saw the chandelier, he gazed upon with pure amazement. He loved it so much, he made a replica for the building. And if you notice that the architecture and the overall interior design 
have these elements of the Baroque period and neoclassical accents. <laughs> yeah, you truly feel the 19th century Paris when you walk through here. <laughs> it's amazing. No, no, I just pay attention to the things that pique my interest. Yes, you certainly do. <laughs> what? I do pay attention to you. Okay, okay, alright. You want to know what I have learned about you. Alright. Uh, let's see. Based on today's conversation, you, uh enjoy crime documentaries i know you much prefer thought-provoking conversations than a dull evening out dancing you are a reader whether it's romance or drama something that engages your mind traveling around the world is in your bucket list you are an adventurer a wanderer a drifting soul, always learning and always exploring. <laughs> you want more? Really? Well, hmm. Okay, something more personal. Huh. Well. It hasn't escaped my notice that I affect you. What do I mean? You know, you stuck up when I get close to you. And your eyes, your beautiful eyes, they just stare at my body on whatever I do. Not because you're afraid of me, but you are curious of what I'm capable of doing to you. And when I look up at you, I can feel your cheeks burn and your hands get clammy, but you don't want to move away. In fact, you lean in closer to me, wanting more. And even with that, your curiosity only allows you to be a little bit dangerous. Am I? No. No, not at all. Secrets? Oh, sweetie, we all have secrets. There's nothing wrong with that. It makes life a little bit more interesting. It adds flavor to the bland, I suppose. <laughs> Come on, I think we need a bit of privacy. In fact, would you like to know one of my secrets? I will confess. Strawberries and champagne are delightful in the evening. But that is not what I'm craving right now. I'm craving... You. I need to know. How your lips will feel against mine. How your body will feel under my fingertips. How your hands will feel grabbing me. And how your face will look after. That is what I'm craving for. <laughs> and the way you 
face turns red just as I say that. You are just as hungry as me. <laughs> so, what do you say? I think you have room for more of an adventurous meal. You ready to take that first bite? Alright. Well, go on then. Taste me. We're here. It means that I have to let you go. And I am not quite ready to do that. No, a moment is too long. Let's go. Follow me. Oh, I don't think the guests would appreciate us making a scene here, baby. Besides, I don't share. You are all for me. Oh, thank God. Come here. <sighs> Would you like the grand tour? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here. Follow me. Let me show you around. All right. Here. Here is the grand foyer. And then... Mm-hmm. And then if we take a few steps... Here is the living room. With a gorgeous view of Midtown. <laughs> yeah, you know, years of traveling in this city and uh, seeing it change, it still gets me. <laughs> but I think I have a new view that I like better. <laughs> To your left, the kitchen. Oh, I know my way around the kitchen. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, and the bathroom is through those doors with a clawfoot bathtub. And so now, young man, you are my guest. And whatever the guest wants, I make it happen. So... Where do you want this to happen? <laughs> the bedroom? <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God, what the fuck is calling me? Wait, ignore it. <laughs> oh, gladly. <laughs> oh, God fucking hell. <sighs> no, no, wait. It might be important. And wait, let me get it and kindly ask them to fuck all the way off. <laughs> okay, hold up. Liam, this better be fucking good. Wait. What? Are you fucking- Wait, 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 what? That wasn't supposed to happen until tomorrow. What? What the hell? No, Liam, please just reroute the- 
God, fuck, fuck. God damn it. How the hell could you let this happen? Liam, okay. Fuck. How much time do I have until the... What? Ten minutes? Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking expect me to... <sighs> Fuck. You know what? I'll explain later. Just call the team and assemble them ASAP downstairs. The project will have to continue as planned. I have business that I have to take care of first, okay? I I'll call you soon. Shit. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. You need to follow me. Now. Look. Listen to me. A work meeting just happened and I, uh, I, I got to go. Look, I'm so sorry for this last minute fucking shit, but I am... Please get ready. Like, right now. Oh shit, fuck. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. It's, it's just, um... Listen, I will walk you downstairs and try to get you a cab ASAP to head you back to your hotel and I'll call you. <laughs> uh, no. Y yeah, yes, you do. I'm quite sure you do not want to walk to the Brooklyn Bridge by yourself. What? What the fuck did you just say? No. Why the fuck would you change your reservation to here? You're staying here? Holy fuck! No, no. This isn't happening. Fuck, god damn it. Oh, oh, what's my problem? Why the hell did you decide to move into this hotel? I, t I thought you were staying near at the airport. What, just because you have the goddamn points? Are you fucking crazy? No, no, fuck, I didn't mean it like that. Wait, 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 stay. Fuck, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, just... Just give me a... Hey, where the fuck are you going? No, <laughs> fuck, just... Please, we don't have time. Just, please, come downstairs with me. What? What the hell do you mean, no? Listen, you cannot just go back to your room. No, I mean... Please, I don't have much time to explain. I just need you to come with me. Look, sweetie, we can do this shit in the easy way or the hard way. <sighs> okay. I guess we're doing this the hard way. Stop! Don't move a fucking muscle! Yeah. You decided the hard way, young man. Look. Look. I am no mood for these games right now. And neither is my clock 23 right now. I asked you fucking nicely and you decided to throw a damn tantrum. And now... Now we gotta do shit like this. Look, I will fucking shoot you if I fucking have to. Now get your ass over here. Yeah, yeah, nice and easy. There we go. Good fucking boy. Come here. Now. We are going to go downstairs, nice and easy. Do something stupid and I'm gonna blow a hole at your fucking back. Do you understand me? Good. Let's go. <laughs> Press the lobby floor. Hurry up! Now! I know you see those guests. Nice word of fucking god if you make a scene. Oh god fucking damn it! 
Are you fucking serious? I am the girl with a gun on your back and you wanna act fucking stupid right now? No, no, just shut the fuck up. Collect yourself and just calm the fuck down. <sighs> Look, this would all be over if you just fucking cooperate with me. <laughs> oh, who am I? It is best for you to shut your goddamn mouth and ask stupid ass questions like that. Whoa, 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 what the hell are you doing? Give me your hand. <laughs> oh, you were about to dial 911? Well, bad choice, sweetie. <laughs> Trust me, you won't be needing that. God, shut the fuck up. Look, you will get rid of me so fucking easily. Once this door is open, you and I are walking out of here calmly. And if you try to act dumb in a fucking cause a scene, I will shoot you. And maybe I'll shoot a few others. You understand? Good. No, Emilia, uh, a car won't be necessary. Thank you. Yeah, have a great evening. <sighs> Alright, this is what we're going to do. We are gonna walk a couple of blocks and- Ah, uh, uh, fuck! Get back here! Get back here, you fucking- <sighs> Come here. Let's go somewhere private. <laughs> Look, I know that you are scared, but I need you to calm down. Yes, please. You are being so fucking loud right now. Look, I need you to be fucking quiet. Please, calm down. I don't want anything from you. Look, I, listen, I am not trying to hurt you. I am trying to save you. We need to- uh, Shit, get down. Oh, shit, fuck, oh, God. Oh, Christ, fuck. Fuck. Fuck, holy shit. It happened. Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Look at me. Look at me. Are you okay? No, 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 no. Don't move. Don't move. You're in shock. Look, look. This is not the time to... Look, you need to calm down. Just please. Take deep breaths. Yes. I knew. Yeah. I knew the hotel was going to blow. How did I know? <sighs> Look, that's not um that's not an easy answer. I Look, I I had to. Because um No, you don't understand. I had to make sure it happened, to fit it into the timeline. I, I am trying to protect your universe. You have to understand that. <laughs> I am not an investment broker. My name is Agent 2.1.2. I'm with the TTAC. Time Travel Agency Commissions I'm a time traveler Look, I'll explain more But we... We really need to get out of here Wait, no, 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 no Stay with me 
Okay, okay, everything's gonna be alright. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Shit, wake up. Wake up, wake up. No, not, not now, shit. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? I'll explain everything. I'll explain everything. Wake up. Wake up. Stay I'll with explain me. everything. Stay with me. Wake up. Wake up. I'll explain everything. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'll explain everything. Wake up.